Hi and welcome back to the final tutorial on setting up some really simple grass uh, with turf effects in trains. We're going to go through the long grass which is outlined on the wiki on the example page. If you haven't watched the uh, short grass tutorial which goes into a, a bit more detail on things, uh, I recommend you watch that first. Uh, so we're going to skip ahead now since a lot of that's explained in that video. So let's open up a new route. We name the route and we go to our topology layer, advanced, we create a new turf effects layer, we'll call it grass long. We select our grass 4 which is our green grass, uh, go to 2.5 meters because we want to paste this close to the track as well I presume. Then we will change, we'll change it a little bit, you can stick to these settings here if you want, um, that will give you what this image looks like. I'm going to alter mine a little bit, but not too much. Uh, it says the scale, or oh, that's the height um, of the grass blades is 0.35. I'm going to go with 0.4. Uh, it's not much of a difference, but playing around, that's kind of what I liked. 0.2 to make it stand out a bit more is the thickness of my blade. And the noise, I'll probably do uh, 0.1 so they get a bit thicker. This has got no noise in the example, so they all stay in the same thickness. This varia uh, creates a variation between some of them. It gets them a little bit thicker. It just um, makes it look a bit greener, I think. But totally up to you. I'm not going to go 0.5 on the random height. That um, really has a, a difference between blades uh, with the heights. So I'm going to go with 2.5 to make it a bit less and dispersal, and uh, uh, sorry, bending, which is the animation, I'll put 0.8. Um, one's fine as well, there's not much difference. It's just a little bit less bending in the wind. Uh, dispersal, I think, was 0.1 on uh, 0.2. Oh, yep. I'll try 0.1 for now. It's a bit more clumping. Uh, bit, 0.2 will have it all over the place. Uh, you'll notice a difference, I'll come back and show you. And then I'll probably just do 0.3 to increase some seeds even though they've done we've done the opposite on the wiki we've increased um, the constant and multiplier which uh, kind of does the same thing all right so we'll leave it at that we've got our turf fix layer selected and we'll increase the, ten, uh, the sensitivity right up paste that around that gets us our long grass now you can see it's going a bit crazy uh, let me put a man in there to show you how long it is. So now it's up to his hips nearly. And to work with the animation, you want to make sure that you go into your environment settings under your environment tab and there's the wind strength. So you probably want to set your wind somewhere around there for your route. Uh, you know, if you really want to go extreme you'll get that sort of thing happening, which kind of looks cool when you're looking at your grass. There might be a strong wind going on. You might want to might want to set a session to that uh, if you you, know, if you like that kind of effect near your, near your track as you're going by with a train. But I'm going to set my wind strength a bit lower. So that's that's really what you want to think about when, you, when you're doing animation, especially with longer grass, is you want a higher bending scale, but you also that that's how far it will bend but the wind strength is going to what makes uh the the animation you know look I, I guess really windy or not windy at all so that's where you'll be tweaking the actual under here is where you'll be tweaking the actual wind strength itself okay so that's long grass uh you can play around with like i said the dispersal you won't really notice a lot uh, i think you'll probably notice it more if i do it from up here. So dispersal one means they're more the blades are more together. If we put two in there, you'll see there's more coverage. You don't get any of those patches anymore. So the blades have se uh, separated a little bit more. Uh, and you know if we bring it in further, you'll see the blades are a lot closer. You'll get these patches going on. So it's up to you what you what you want to do with that. Um, again, if you start to see rows of lines you can change the actual uh, density by going up to, this is the easiest, you can do it in other ways, you can, you can change the sensitivity and start clicking around to get 
less dense areas, but I like to just go to the get height, change it to about 0.3, use height, and then go around and paste it all over the place. That gets you some nice patches of grass around. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those three tutorials. If you've watched them all, uh, that's long, short, medium, and long green grass. Uh, and in the future, we'll go and make a few different variations using uh, multiple turf effects layers. Thanks for watching.